and welcome to another Gateshead Libraries Rhyme Time. This week you've got me, Karen, and this week we have a bit of a, a garden theme going on because today, you might not know, is National Plant a Flower Day. And of course at the weekend we've got Mothering Sunday coming up as well. So it seemed the right time to sing some lovely songs about spring and the sort of creatures that you meet in the spring. Might even teach you some songs you don't know today. You never know. But let's start with one you do know. So it's Wriggly Worms and our Good Morning song. Here we go. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear children. Good morning to you. And a verse for the grown-ups too, because we're important as well. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear grown-ups. Good morning to you. Good job, gang. Thanks for joining with me at home, if indeed you are. And of course, you're going to need, should I mention, something to shake, but you know that by now, and maybe something to bounce a bit later on as well. So, our first song of the day. I was thinking about gardens and the spring. I've got to do the Peapod song, right? It's one of my favourites. So, hands into fists. We're going to count those peas. Here we go. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop. They grew and they grew till the pod went pop. <gasps> a big spring light pop to start with. Let's do it one more time, just as a warm-up song, and this time we're going to end with a lot of pops. Okay, you ready? Hold on tight, we're going to do it a little bit faster. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop. They grew and they grew till the pod went... And give yourself a round of applause if you joined in with that one. Good job, gang. Okay, our next finger rhyme of the day. Well, I thought perhaps I might teach you one that maybe you don't know. Have a look around. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who might we sing about today? Not going to sing about him. Not sure I'd find him in the garden. Uh, but maybe there's this guy over here. We've got a buzzy, buzzy bee. Now, if you know the one, two, three, four, five song about fish, once I caught a fish alive, well, I can teach you a version about buzzy bees. I'll talk you through it first and then we'll sing it together, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Bees go buzzing round the hive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buzz around and back again. Please tell me, busy bee, why you buzz so busily? Peep in the hive and see they're making honey for my tea. So there's some actions there. Nice cup of tea to finish with, okay? So you're going to know the tune to this one. Are you ready? Here we go. Get your bees ready. One, two, three, four, five. Bees go buzzing round the hive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buzz around and back again. Please tell me, busy bee, why you buzz so busily? Peep in the hive and see they're making honey for my tea oh nice maybe one you didn't know and one you can teach to somebody else this weekend as well perhaps time for another song that maybe you don't know maybe you do i don't know let me know in the comments let me know but i know a song about i'm going to show you are you ready it's a little bit shy These are lovely, can you see them? A lovely little caterpillar. So you're going to know the tune to this one. So the tune is she'll be coming around the mountain. Uh, but maybe, maybe you've sung this one at nursery or at school or maybe someone else has taught you. I'll teach you the words first and then we'll sing it a verse at a time, okay? So the first verse is, there's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf, wriggle, wriggle. Now here's the good bit. Perhaps you have one of these at home, I don't know. But if you don't, you can use your finger and use your hand as a leaf. So there's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf, wriggle, wriggle. And we have a little bit of a wriggle as well. Okay, you ready? We'll go one verse at a time. There 
is a tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. There's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. There's a tiny caterpillar. A tiny caterpillar. A tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. Now, what might be the next thing that he does? He's on his leaf and he's very hungry, much like that guy up there, the hungry caterpillar. So he will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Hold on, because I have, oh, I've got a lovely leaf there. So again, you can use your hand and pretend that you've got a leaf and a caterpillar finger, okay? He will eat the leaves around him till he's full. You ready? He will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. He will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. He will eat the leaves around him. He will eat the leaves around him. He will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. Well done if you joined in with the munches. Now the leaf gets eaten so that disappears. And the next thing that he does, he spins a cocoon for the big finale. Ready for the big finale, okay? So he's spinning a cocoon. So the words are, a cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. And you can do like the bobbin action, okay? You ready? A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. A cocoon is what he's spinning. A cocoon is what he's spinning. A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. And then what happens? He spun his cocoon and the spring-like transformation takes place. He turns into a lovely, oh, a lovely butterfly. Can you see my lovely butterfly? Now this is the fun part. I'm going to pop him over here, see if I can get it to stay. Yes. The butterfly's there, but you can turn your hands into a lovely butterfly. So then he'll be a butterfly and fly away and we go flap, flap. You ready? Okay, so then he'll be a butterfly and fly away, flap, flap. Then he'll be a butterfly and fly away, flap, flap. Then he'll be a butterfly, he'll be a butterfly, he will be a butterfly and fly away, flap, flap, and there he goes, flapping off towards the lovely spring sunshine. Wasn't that a nice song? It's nice because it talks about the, the metamorphosis of the caterpillar into the butterfly. Very nice. I'll pop him there as well if I can. Will they stay? Maybe not. Oh no, caterpillar's down. He prefers it on the ground. It's where the leaves are. Okay, shall we move on to our next song? We need to do some bouncing, don't we? It's time for you to find a toy to bounce on your knee. Maybe if you've got a baby on your knee, now's the time to gently bounce the baby. But I'm going to bounce my pal, my partner in crime, my partner in rhyme time, <laughs> Mr. Cuddles Johnson. Here he is. He's on my knee. And then what I fancy doing, it's not really a garden theme, but I haven't done Alice the Camel for a while and it's one of my favourites. And I know from Bertley and Reckington Library, it was, it's one of your favourites too. So if you've not done this before, we count the humps and we go whoop. So if you've got a baby on your knee, we gently go whoop like that. Maybe like me, you've got a toy. Maybe you want to throw it and go whoop. You could do that too, as long as that's okay with your grown up and you're not going to hit the lights or the chandeliers or anything. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So, Alice the camel had three humps. You ready? Alice the camel had three humps. Whoop! Alice the camel had three humps. Whoop! Alice the camel had three humps. Whoop! So go, Alice, go, boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel had two humps. Whoop! Alice the camel had two humps. Whoop! Alice the camel had two humps. Whoop! So go, Alice, go, boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel had one hump. Whoop! Alice the camel had one hump. Whoop! Alice the camel had one hump. Whoop! So go, Alice, go, boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel had no humps. Oh, it's so sad. 
Alice the camel had no humps. Oh, give that monkey a cuddle. Alice the camel had no humps. Oh, because Alice was a horse, of course. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clickety-clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Whoa! Good job, Mr. Cuddles Johnson. Excellent bouncing there. Very good indeed. You're worn out though, aren't you? That's, that's too much for one small monkey. Let's pop that back and let's bring out. Let's bring out the ukulele. Time for you to grab something to shake or maybe, maybe you might want to do actions for this song because I thought we could sing back on the garden theme. Do you know there's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and all that he can do is, and then we wiggle, wiggle all night and wiggle all day. You can always hear the neighbours say there's a worm at the bottom of the the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo. Woo. Okay so those are the actions if you want to join in. Worm at the bottom of the garden. We make a square to show it's the garden. Okay I'm going to try and play it. Let's see how that goes. Cross your fingers for me and if you want to shake along that's fine as well. Okay are you ready? There's a worm at the bottom of the garden language for name is Wiggly Woo. Okay? One last time, you ready? There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and all that he can do is wiggle all night and wiggle all day. He can always hear the neighbours say there's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly. I said Wiggly, you said nice one. I tricked you there with the ending, didn't I? Jolly good fun. Well done. Thank you for joining in with that one. Give yourselves a bit of a clap if you did. Let's finish with one final song and again kind of straying from the garden theme with this one but I haven't sung Shake Your Sillies out for a while and I really missed that one too. So let's have a go with that one so we can have a jolly good shake with... I'm going to put that on my foot. I'm going to do the trick. I'm going to do the trick where I try and do one man band. Yeah? Here we go, are you ready? I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my city down, shake, shake, shake my city down, shake, shake, shake my city down, bring all my life away. It's harder than it looks, you know, trying to trying to trying to shake and play at the set. It's very hard, very hard. Shall we clap our crazies out? So you might want to your crazies out, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna clap, clap. Crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, wiggle my waggles away. Should we do a nice fun one? Shall we imagine we're doing a kitchen disco together? I wish we were, wouldn't that be fun? And uh, let's dance our dizzies out, you ready? I'm gonna dance, dance, dance my dizzies out, dance, dance, dance my dizzies out, dance, dance, dance my dizzies out, wiggle my waggles away. Must wonder what I'm doing in here, you know. They really must. I must tell them. I must let them know. Let's do a nice, quiet one. I thought we could sing because we've done a clap. Shall we do a tap? Shall we tap our tinies out? Okay, tap our tinies out. So quite quiet. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap my tinies out. Tap, tap, tap my tinies out. Tap. with a nice cuddly one thinking about Mothering Sunday coming up at the weekend. Let's have a nice cuddle our snuggles out. You ready? I'm gonna cuddle, cuddle, cuddle my snugglies out. 
out, joining in with me and for watching all of these videos and um, we'll be with you again around about the same time next week if there's any songs that you want us to sing either myself or Kat or one of the gang pop it in the comments below and let us know but until next week it's our goodbye song here we go goodbye to Good.